Okay, and this is going to be a demonstration of the counters in PicoSoft. I have already started the program. I've already uh, included a project where our L12BWB, we should be past that by now. And I have the uh, ladder diagram up and ready to, uh, ready to be uh, programmed. So I'm going to take a, a simple uh, input and I'm going to say this is uh, push button number one and I'm going to have that energize a counter and I'm just going to say this is counter number one and I need to select the parameters so um, this can be uh, Actually, I need to select the coil function. Uh, by default, it's uh, it's the count pulse, and that's what we're going to use to start with. Uh, but we can also select count direction or reset. We're going to be using that later. Uh, under parameters, here's the set point, and I'm going to make this a 10 count for the set point. And then when that fires off, I'm going to energize a... Uh, output so I'm going to energize output one and this could be our red light okay so that's uh, that's the logic that I have uh, every time I press this push button the counter should increment when I get to 10 the red light should turn on so that's what I want to do I'm going to go to simulation I'm going to make sure that my uh, push button function is normal and I have my uh, input buttons here I'm going to start my simulation and I'm going to press this thing 10 times and when I get to 10 the red light should turn on okay so uh, once again we have a display function here for our counters uh, 1 through 8 and in this case I have my uh, counter C1 uh, and as you can see it's uh, the actual value is 10 the output is on if I continue to click the button the count button uh, turns green and the actual value continues above the set point okay so at this point um, I've got my red light on I don't have a way of resetting it so I'm going to stop my simulation, go back to the circuit diagram, and I'm going to add uh, an, another push button. I'm going to say this is this is push button, if I could spell it right, number two, and I'm going to click and drag the uh, counter relay here but for coil function I'm going to say reset and as you can see now I have uh, a C01 element with a C that's my my count function and also an R and that's my reset function so now push button 2 when I press that will reset our counter so if I go back to simulation and I'm going to start with my uh, counter display up and we'll start the simulation and I'm gonna press the button and as you can see as I press the button the actual value continues to increment and I got to 10 and my output light is on uh, my output function my output element is on and my red light is now on uh, if I continue to press the button you see the actual value continues to increment but the output stays on. Now I do have my reset button which I configured. If I press that button the actual value goes back to zero, the red light turns off, the output turns off and I'm ready to count again. So I can continue to count. If I get to 10 my output turns on, stays on. I can reset it with 2 everything goes back to normal. So I'm going to stop the simulation we have one more example in the lab 
and uh, again this is an example of uh, having more than one instance of PicoSoft running because I have another uh, instance here where I have the count direction function also programmed so I have push button 3 in this one which is configured for retentive and this is going to be my count direction so I have my uh, counter display here set up if I start my simulation I press the push button my count actual value goes up just like before when I get to 10 the output turns on, the red light turns on if I want to reset this I press push button 2 and the counter is reset and I can continue this in this manner but if I wanted to uh, count down I have this uh, this rung here, rung 4 which is set up with the count direction coil based on the input from push button 3 which is retentive so if I press that I uh, all I have to do is operate it and it'll stay on and now if you notice the direction light is is green now and if I press my input now the actual value is going to actually decrement so the actual value gets down every time I press the button if I want to count up I change my count direction and now I can count up if I want to change directions again I press the button so that's the example of uh, counter functions in Pico with count direction coil, reset coil, and the counter count coil. That concludes this demonstration.